Unless you want the music in the background. Would 78 write it about his limit today, uh, Lincoln's? I think so. Um, pitching through, uh, you know, with the sixth inning with the men on base, going through the middle of the lineup the third time. Uh, I thought he got us to a very good place. Cut up the first two guys really you know, efficiently to get the two quick outs, and then this thing strung out a little bit on. But just superb out. He had one walk. It wasn't until the sixth inning. What do you end up with? Four punch outs? Six hits? Very efficient. Uh, worked inside extremely well again. Uh, got on the fist of some guys. Good breaking ball. Good change up. Some nice, get some swings, some soft contact. First pitch change ups of left handers. Uh, outstanding. Outstanding. Has the development of that change up been key for him? I definitely think it's it's helping. It's helping the matter, you know. It's uh, the fastball. The thing I like is is getting the fastball inside like he has has helped everything. It's helped the fastball away. It's helped the slider. Uh, that he throws off the fastball in the middle or, or outer third to chase, and it's helped the change up. It's helped all of them because it's just rearranging the dynamic of the at bat for everybody. He's working both the right handers and the left handers in. And he's doing it efficiently. He's not just getting strikes in there. Sometimes he's chasing it off the plate, getting some weak contact as well. So much better as a starter and as a reliever. Is there something you're ready to say just for being comfortable in the role? Well, there could be. Um, I know he liked being a reliever because that's what got him up to the big leagues initially. He liked that opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, we've got a couple different guys here that they want to be something, and he wants to be a starter. Mm -hmm. I honor that. I'll go get it. You know, he's got the opportunity uh, to not put more pressure on himself, but just to pitch it as he did today with confidence. Great rhythm and tempo, getting the ball working well. Second game, he's worked with Ryan back there. They seem to, to, to piggyback very well. Um, kept the ball down. Uh, and, you know, he's faced the, the Brewers and the Cardinals in back to back starts. It's been, uh, that's been good. And what's it meant for you to have not only this outing, but on top of that, Aaron's outing, I guess going back to Monday, I mean, just having two young guys really kind of stepping up these last week. Well, it is good. You know, we've lost two guys, and we need some replacements. And Mahalo and Correa, you know, out of the fold right now, and we felt we had some depth in the organization and the system, and we got to see it firsthand up close and personal in the last uh, four games, the two guys to jump right in and face two uh, very good offensive teams. Um, so, and we're looking for more from Ollendorf his next time out. Not that he's a young guy, but he's another guy that we we feel that we can get him get him back to where he was year before last. That'll be another nice addition for us to have moving forward. You had mixed reviews about the offensive approach the first two games, but today against Carpenter, like what you saw. I did. Uh, I liked a lot better. I mean, I thought we were slowed down. Uh, I thought, uh, especially you know, you, anytime you get a two out knock. Um, with two outs, just to score a run in the first. Excuse me, the second inning, and then just to play the inning out as we did in the fourth. Some late, some late RBIs with guys getting on base, good at bats, hitting the ball hard the other way a couple times, as well as, as driving balls uh, in RBI situations, and then being able to add on. You know, in the fifth and sixth, attack on runs as well. Walker scalded that ball, hit left to center. Another two out RBI by McCutcheon. So very pleased with the offensive effort today. A lot more discipline, I thought. What did you see specifically from Harrison and Jones and their at-bats against Carpenter? <clears throat> well, um, you know, I, I think it was a combination thing. Carp wasn't as sharp as we've seen it. I mean, this guy's a, uh, he's a very good major league pitcher. And uh, today to have him up, you know, in the pitch count he did after five. Um, but fact being, we hit mistakes. We hit balls that he missed with. We also went the other way with pitches. He was trying to get strikes on the opposite field. We did some things well ourselves, and I thought we showed more discipline. We didn't chase off him as much as maybe we have previously. So with Jones and, and Harrison, I think those two guys kind of fell in those patterns as well. Jones, he hits a double to left field um, to drive and a run. The double, you know, he pulls the ball down the right field line, a ball that was down, but he stayed on. Um, an aggressive base running. And then he found, you know, in the middle of the field, he hit the ball all three fields a day. Harrison again today, you know, it's, it's, it was all left field today, but they were sharp and they were timely and they were well placed. It was fastballs and there was a breaking ball that he hit, so he hit both those pitches. Is it even more impressive that it is the young guys who are, you, you mentioned Carp wasn't quite as sharp, but still the young guys are kind of taking advantage of when the lift that situation was? Well, it is good to see, and it's something we've seen earlier in the year. You know, we've, gotten, we've lost guys and then replaced them with younger guys almost every time, and 
to have Presley back, Darnell back. They both gave us a shot in the arm when they first returned. Harrison, his second time back here, has been much more, uh, much more offensively confident than he was the last time. Um, so yeah, I mean we're building for the future. We want to win games now. We're not backing away from the flame at all to finish this thing off. Uh, the one thing I really appreciate about the, appreciate about these guys is you would never know we lost the first two games of the series when we get in the dugout today and take the field, and that's something they've really bought into this year. Um, we got a chance to win a game today. Let's go play. Let's see what happens. And you would have never known that we were two down coming in the series. So. I like the way we took the play on the field and backed it up. Good pitching, good defense, good hitting today. That was a nice combination. Clint, when you talk about that kind of culture change, really, which is like I think you kind of are implying in there. I mean, how much does a strong finish go to that where you're either ignoring the standings or ignoring the one loss and just kind of cranking out September like you would maybe April or May of next year? Well, we're all about winning the game we play. They know that. Yeah. They've got that. That's that's on their foreheads. Um, we're going, to, we're going to do everything we can to win the game we play today. I think we've learned lessons through the first three and a half uh, months of the season. I think we've learned uh, maybe more lessons in the last month of the season. You know, it's been a month of heart. Uh, but you don't back down. The game doesn't stop. You keep pushing them back to the staples of the game, the execution the game demands. And they get it. They get it now. And it, they understand also that, you know, we can be two down in the series and face Carpenter and they're, they're not going, oh, no, we got no shot. I mean, we're going we're coming to play. We're going to come to play. The attitude and the effort these guys have had every day, that's what's going to help get us where we want to go. And our intent is to finish strong, but our intent still is we're going to play them one game at a time. One game at a time. We'll mount up tomorrow and get after them, try and split this thing.